My name is Tom Keane. I'm the head of urology at the Medical University of South Carolina. As you've gathered, I'm not originally from the United States. I'm an Irishman. I did my medical school in Ireland. I did seven years of general surgery in Ireland and England. And then I got sense and I moved to the United States. I was lucky enough to do my residency at Duke University. And then I worked for nine years at Emory University, where I became vice chair. And then finally was invited to take over the chair of urology and I arrived at MUSC in 2002. My special interest is genital urinary oncology, which comprises kidney cancer, bladder cancer, uh, prostate cancer, testicular cancer, etc. Um, when I first got here in 2002, there were three urologists. Now we have 12 urologists in the department. We have two fellowships in the department and we have two endowed chairs. What is my main interest? Primarily prostate and bladder cancer. Um, I'm one of the only open surgeons who remains purely open uh, in the department. Uh, the others, we have three robots. Uh, we have at least four GU oncology um, who specialize in nothing but uh, cancers. We also have an excellent female reconstructive and uh, voiding dysfunction center, which is headed up by Do Dr. Eric Robner. Um, as for me, I operate uh, one to two days a week, um, and my, I suppose the thing that marks me out as unique is I'm one of the few people who still performs a perineal prostatectomy. Now, you well may ask, what's a perineal prostatectomy? That's where you take the prostate out from between the legs. Now, why would I do that? Because the prostate is very close to that area, and if you're too large, if you've had too much surgery, if you have other conditions like a transplant, like a J-pouch, mesh, anything that will stop the robot or an open surgeon from coming in above, then I'm the person to see. Because there's about, I think, three or four of us left on the East Coast, if that. So when it comes to something unique, the perineal prostatectomy, that has been updated because when people talk about it, they typically look at the historical perspective on it. But with the advances today that have been made in terms of equipment, in terms of retractors, and even if you look at some of the robotics and some of the tools that they have invented, they can be just as easily applied to the open scenario. The second thing I do is renal cell carcinoma and dealing with large uh, tumors in solitary kidneys are large tumors in patients who have poor kidney function where you have to try and preserve some of the kidney in order to avoid dialysis. That again is my specialty area. And finally with bladder cancer, again the robot does a very good job, but there are often times when a robot just will not be sufficient to be able to deliver the bladder and prostate if there's one there out. I should say that I also operate on women as regards bladder cancer, renal cancer, ureteric cancer, and all in all, if you talk about MUSC, I believe we have a department which is the match of any department in the country. If you come to MUSC, I think we're, we're not unique, but we are certainly among the top uh, areas in the southeast and probably in the country when it comes to dealing with difficult urologic problems. The first thing that will happen is your notes will be sent over if you have prior notes. So will your imaging. And then we have the advantage of a multidisciplinary clinic which meets on a weekly basis. All new cancer cases are discussed there and you get the benefit of both the surgical opinion, a radiation opinion, the pathologist review all of your slides, the radiologist review all of the imaging that has been done and then will recommend further imaging if necessary. And then finally we get together we meet, the medical oncologists do have their say also, and then we come up with a recommendation, which is not just one person's recommendation, but rather the whole team's approach. That will be sent to you, and then it's up to the patient themselves to decide if they want to come here or where they would like to be treated.